I've got this this crazy bit here. I'm going to uh, do a little demonstration. It's the grinder with the, the chainsaw attachment. Um, for the cool thing about this for people to know is that the oil, you can just use vegetable oil, olive oil, or whatever kind of oil you have, and uh, it'll work great. Now, and it's also easy, you know, it's in your kitchen, and it's uh, environmentally safe and friendly. Now, I've already cut this tree, as you see, it's, I cut this tree down like uh, maybe a month and a half ago, and uh, this tree over here um, was cut down just recently with this little device. I'm going to show you how quickly it cuts through and get to set up real quick here. I'm actually very uh, impressed with this device, as crazy as it is and dangerous as well. It's fairly sturdy. I mean, it's. You know, I paid like $6 for it on uh, Lazada. And this particular brand I bought also because it's. Some of them do not have your little uh, teeth here. It's definitely a good thing to have. So, the cool thing about this, uh, normally I use a gas powered chainsaw, but this is nice because you don't have to put any earplugs in. This is still dangerous, but let me show you its effectiveness. Getting some cord. works works rather well I'm impressed with it but like I said it is quite a dangerous tool um, you're gonna have to be careful with it definitely and um, so they have it it's cool it's worth the money I wouldn't uh, go too crazy with it though it is dangerous Okay, we're gonna give this little device here a try. This crazy uh, chainsaw add-on for your grinder. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and point out right now, if you need to use your oil, I um, suggest just using vegetable oil. You know, it's uh, quick, easy, safe, and everybody's got it. Well, most people, if you cook. So, um, yeah, your vegetable oil is a great way to um, be clean, nature clean. So, we got this old tree cut here. I'm gonna see if I can cut it flush. It's about eight inches in diameter. Let's give it a go. Chainsaws a lot, and uh, for this little electric saw to cut this, that's pretty good. It's a great tool, just dangerous. Be very careful with it.
impressive. Dangerous, but impressive. Yeah. Hello, I wanted to add something, uh, a bit of knowledge. First of all, make sure it is unplugged. Make sure that it is unplugged 100%. You know what I mean? Make sure it's the right product and it's unplugged. But the chainsaw chain itself, many people may not know the correct tension, how to have it tight. Um, not too tight because too tight is going to make your bar wear out. It's also going to make your engine strain harder. You don't want it too loose because then the chances of the chain coming off the bar are much more probable. You want it to be about when you put tension on it, it's about a half away that the teeth are coming out. As you see, it's still got it's still got the uh, it's still in the tracks. The chain is still in the tracks. It's not pulling out of the tracks. Um, I'm not pulling too hard. Another way to check it is. Um, is by rolling it. When I let go of it, you see it's still kind of, it's still moving just a little bit. That's not too tight. That's a perfect tension right there. Make sure you um, adjust it, which is right here. Um, make sure you adjust it when uh, you got to loosen these bolts a little bit. And then tighten it and then tighten these bolts back up. But after you use this for the first time, the chain is going to get a little bit looser. So be sure to um, keep an eye on that. And be safe. Be safe with this product. But it is, uh, it is definitely useful.